in the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. May peace, mercy and blessings of Allah the Almighty be upon all of you. I am Umar bin Abid and in this lecture we are going to look at what are communicative signals and what are informative signals both in human and animals. So today our next lecture, uh, sorry our next chapter has been started animals and human language. So we are going to look at what are the properties of animals and human language. So let's start. So first of all we are going to look at a story. Uh, actually it is a real story. It is not a fiction. So it is narrated by Dacon. So let's read it with me. Uh, actually at the start of every chapter it is the habit of George Yule that he gives us uh, a story or a short you can say narration relevant to that chapter. So one evening in the mid 1980s my wife and I were returning from an evening cruise around Boston Harbor and decided to take a waterfront stroll. We were passing in front of the Boston Aquarium when a gravely voiced yelled out hey hey get out of there. Thinking we had mistakenly wandered somewhere we were not allowed, we stopped and looked around for a security guard or some other official but saw no one and no warning signs. Again the voice boomed, hey hey you. As we tracked the voice, we found ourselves approaching a large glass fenced pool in front of the aquarium where four harbor seals were lounging on display. Incredulous, I traced the source of the command to a large seal reclining vertically in the water with his head extending back and up, his mouth slightly open, rotating slowly. A seal was talking, not to me. A seal was talking, not to me, but to the air, and incidentally to anyone with air shot who cared to listen. So what is uh, Dacon going to tell you? That it is the seals who were saying, hey, hey, get out of there. Hey, hey, you. So it seems, and it seemed to him that there was no human being, but these were those seals who were saying these words, saying these utterances. So how much it is true, Dacon uh, will tell it better. So actually there are a lot of stories uh, that animals can speak or not. So these stories we are going to look at in incoming lectures. So for timing we are going to look at so I have already told you about it that there are a lot of stories about different creatures that could talk. We would see it in later lectures of this chapter. So let's see communicative signals. First of all we are going to look at its definition. So behavior used intentionally to provide information. When we use language to tell someone about us which is either cannot be informed by just informative signals, we are using communicative signals. Uh, we will look at uh, informative signals uh, in our next few slides. So communicative signal is that which are you can say your intentional signal and when you use language to provide information about yourself. So at that time you are using communicative signals. So let's have a few examples. So I am one of the applicants for the vacant position of senior brain surgeon at the hospital. So here you can see uh, that someone or you yourself are talking to someone that I am one of the applicants for the vacant position of senior brain surgeon at the hospital. You must 
uh, observe or you must acknowledge that this sentence could not be understand understood by anyone unless you speak yourself that why have you come at some particular place so this is the communicative signal example similarly if i say i am a youtuber and i teach linguistics so unless i tell someone that i am a youtuber and i teach linguistics no one will come to know that i am a youtuber or unless he or she watches my lecture on youtube or i say english is my second language and i am improving it yes maybe uh, if i am speaking english to you so maybe you come to know that i am Uh, you can say i am stammering or at some places i am taking pauses so maybe you come to know that english is not my native language but my second language so this could be f uh, this could fall into informative signal as well so now look at informative signals so behavior that provides information usually unintentionally it means that you yourself does not do not express something but uh, your uh, your gestures or you can say your information provides some signals which you do not express ex uh, explicitly but these are shown by your body or uh, by your accent or by your language so in simple words we can say that our unintentional signals are informative signals for example someone listening to you or looking at you may become informed through a number of signals that you have not produced intentionally so let's look at some examples for example you sneeze so now you are not telling anyone that uh, you catch a cold but uh, the other one comes to know that you catch a cold therefore you are sneezing for example you are shifting around your chair here and there so it means you are comfortable once again you are not telling that you are uncomfortable but your gestures and your body shifts your body positions are telling this you are holding your head uh, time and again so once again you are not telling someone that you have an headache or you have an addict or you are worried but the other comes to know uh, when you hold your head time and again you are in an unmatching socks suppose you have or someone has uh, worn some unmatched socks one is black the other is white so it means you are disorganized or the person is disorganized you have a strange accent uh, sometimes we meet some people who have different accent from as so we come to know that this person is from somewhere else this person is not from my community so once again this is an informative signal your voice is trembling for example i am speaking and i am my voice is trembling uh, time and again again and again so it means i am nervous so these are the informative signals and their examples that you do not express yourself explicitly but the other the other person comes to know by your actions that actually what is happening with you on the other hand in uh, communicative signals you yourself tell someone that why what are you doing or you yourself express your image emotions with explicit language uh, in communicative signals uh, the other person will not come to know uh, what do you want to say or what is in your mind or heart unless you tell uh, for example maybe you uh, go to a hospital and you just sit uh, on a chair or you or you just uh, go to reception so the receptionist will not come to know that uh, for what purpose you are coming unless you tell i am one of the applicant for the vacant position of senior brain surgeon at the hospital or unless you tell uh, otherwise he or she uh, will assume that you are also a patient or you are a, uh, the relative of or you are the friend of a patient unless you tell uh, he, him or her that what is the real situation so now animals also convey signals for example a black bird produces loud squeaking sound when a cat or a hunter appears at the moment 
so here you know that this sound has some information this sound has some communication this sound is not just for pleasure similarly almost all animals produce different sound which are signals of something as we know for example a dog does not bark to show another dog that how to make it sound more menacing more grave no but it also have a signal which we do not understand normally when dogs bark they are producing some signals which are understood by other by the other dogs or you may have observed that uh, if you have a pet for example a cat at your home uh, so if he or she produces some sound so you quickly understand what does it mean either he or she wants some food or either he or she wants you to pet him or her so animals also produce some signals uh, we will also look at uh, these things in detail in incoming lectures as i have already told you so this is all about today's lecture in uh, in the next lecture we are going to look at a very short topic that what is glossolalia so i hope you would have understood it and uh, i must inform you that the same lecture Uh, which i have just explained to you you can watch in urdu or hindi on my channel as well by just clicking on the card or in or follow the link in the description so don't forget to give your feedback you can point out pros and cons in my videos in comments box so i will appreciate you and i am looking forward to you for these suggestions recommendations and these pros and cons don't forget to give your feedback remember in your prayers jazakallah khairan and thank you